Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and today I want to talk about EDC and what I carry every day. I will tell you up front that I am a minimalist when it comes to EDC. I don't carry a whole lot of stuff. Um, I've been doing the EDC thing for probably close to 50 years now, including eight and a half years in the Army. And this is what works for me. Um, your mileage may vary. However, you know, I'm, I want to show you what I carry and then you can evaluate my stuff to your stuff and then you make the best decision for you. This is not the first EDC video I've done. If you go back through my YouTube channel, I periodically do one of these just to show what I'm kind of carrying and to show you that really over time, it doesn't change a whole lot. It changes a little but it doesn't change a whole lot. So one of the first things I want to talk about is where is your EDC when you're not wearing it? In other words, you're, you're at home, you got your jammies on, you're sitting there watching TV. Where do you put your EDC? Well, I put mine in here, okay? It's a bowl and this practice actually goes back to my army days where I would, um, when I come home from work, I would take my, my ball cap or my BDU cap off, put it down upside down, and then I would dump my pockets into my hat. And the reason why I did that is so that when I went to work in the morning, or if there was a two o'clock or a four o'clock in the morning alert, and I got dressed, well, I always grabbed my hat, and so I would be able to dump my stuff back into my pockets without forgetting a whole bunch of things. So that's why I do this. Um, this resides in my bedroom. Like I said, at the end of the day, I, I dump into my bowl and then the next day I empty it. So, all right, that being said, I'm going to go through some of the stuff we have. Uh, again, I always carry a notebook with me. This is a new one. I just retired the, another one like this. I like these because, you, because I don't rip the pages out and it kind of keeps a record of things I've done. I don't write in these as much as I used to because we have cell phones. I, I can take a picture of something. I have note-taking app in my phone. And so a lot of times it's just easier to put in my phone. But sometimes if you're sketching something out or, or you need to give somebody a phone number or you need to get a phone number quickly, these are hard to beat. All right, that being said, just a simple wallet. Fits in my front pocket. And then uh, I'm gonna show you this. This is my second take because I had a little OPSEC violation on the first one. This is a dog tag. On the other side of the dog tag is contact information in case somebody finds me along the side of the road that there's enough, there's enough stuff in here to give somebody my name and how to get me to help. All right, this is a little teeny tiny flashlight. It is an Olight, uh, I think that's a I1R2 EOS. And I like this flashlight, it weighs next to nothing. It's recharged by a mini USB and it's pretty bright. Let's see if I can. Okay, that's the low setting, and then you can really crank it up to high. And you can see that's pretty darn bright. And it weighs nothing. I wear it around my neck. Now, I do not carry this with me all the time, uh, mainly if I'm leaving my, my neighborhood, my community, maybe going into a, a neighboring county or further, then I'll wear this. But in general, it, this is an option to me. But I do like I do like having that capability, and I have used this flashlight quite a few times, uh, so it is a worthwhile thing to have. All right, let's see. Of course, car keys. Then, uh, with a piece of paper, you have a pen. This is a zebra compact. It basically, you pull it and then you can write with it. Um, I've modified this. I made the, the 
hole where the refill goes a little bit larger. And this particular pen will take the Fisher Space Pen refills, which you can write upside down underwater and all that other good stuff. But very easy pen to carry. Um, knives. Generally, I carry a pocket knife. Um, sometimes I carry a lock blade. I have a, a bench made that I like. But in general, for everything I've done, this is pretty much the type of knife I've carried. In fact, I've probably carried a Swiss Army knife more than I've carried any other knife, period. Um, this is a Cadet. I've also carried the Recruit, which is also the, one of the, the little bit smaller. It's nice and thin. Uh, nice color purple. You can see it anywhere. But this is all I've used. And so I don't really need to have a, a big burly knife. Like I said, I have a bench made that I like. Um, it's the Bug Out. And that's light too. In fact, it may be lighter than this, but I don't carry much of a knife. Uh, you know, this just has a, a bottle opener with a screwdriver, a can opener with a screwdriver, got a nice blade. And it's got a, this one has like a nail file, nail cleaner in it, which I don't use a whole lot, but eh, you know, you never know. Um, the steel in these knives is a good steel. It's a, it's a tool steel, it's a tough steel. You know, it doesn't have a fancy name to it or fancy letters and numbers, but it's a, it's a good steel. Like I said, I've, I've, got, I've got lots and lots of time with these. Even when I was in the army, the knife that I carried the most was a knife like this. It was called the Farmer. I think they still make them. And it's kind of like this, except in the center here, it had a saw blade. It had the aluminum, aluminum side panel. So good knives. Um, I've got a lot of history with these. All right. So the other thing I carry is a big lighter. I believe that's 2013 or 2015. I think it's 2013. I don't smoke, so I don't use them a whole lot. But look, it's still light. It looks like it's getting a little low, though. I mean, yeah, it may be time. But have them a long time. They work. Now, I want to talk about the fence a little bit. And I want to talk about, um, you know, I carry different things for different situations and different conditions. You know, I don't stay at, was it DEFCON 1, you know, all the time. Because that really burns you out and it makes you crazy. So, you know, we... We learn to throttle back a little bit, and we do that through situational awareness. You know, when I was in the Army, we spent most of our time not carrying a weapon. When we were in garrison, um, we didn't need it. When we went out to the field, we carried them all the time, but when we were back home, we did not carry weapons all the time. And you should kind of consider the same thing here. Do you always need to have one with you? You know, are the you know are the zombies at the county line or whatever? If they're not, you kind of balance it a little bit. Now I don't say go defenseless, but what I've been prone to do is on the times when I know I'm going to go into a fairly safe area, um, this is what I carry. I just carry some red pepper spray. This has got about a 15 foot range. And it's, it's got a die. It's got the die marker on it. This is made by uh, Sabre. It's a uh, police quality stuff. I like them. I replace the canisters every. It's, it's like every five years when they have an expiration date. But yeah, this will get me through the night under most circumstances. Um, if I have to go into an area where I may feel, or if I'm traveling far away from home, I do like to have something a little bit more potent. So something like this is nice. I happen to like that a lot. Um, it's, it's my new favorite compact pistol. And then along with that, I will sometimes carry this. 
which is uh, fairly new to me, but it's a small tactical light. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand. It'll fit in my pocket fine, or I can clip it to the side, or I, have, it, I it has a little belt uh, case for it. What I like about this one is it can take either a CR123 battery or it can take a AA battery. Now with the AA battery, it's not as powerful, but it gives me options that I can get other batteries, you know, that are, are easier to get than the CR123s. And normally when I'm traveling, I have a, you know, an everyday carry bag that kind of stays in the car really but it has extra AA batteries in it because some of the stuff I use in my profession. So that's pretty much it. That's what I have. And uh, I hope it helps you a little bit. Again, uh, not a whole lot of changes. So everybody stay safe and we'll hear you out there.